this video is about how to use pixel lab to design flyer in a way that you have not been taught now this is how i'm going to do it this is the design i'm talking about but instead of starting it like bringing in the background color and other things i will not do that i will start explaining how uh, i arrive at this kind of design using this design that i've already created now let's go now first of all let's talk about the background let's add the other icons and shapes with text now as you can see this background is white but if you notice it there is a shape at the background there so what i did is inputting another picture then reducing the opacity this is the actual picture i used but if you go to opacity now and you increase you see what i have but the main background is white so i input this and then increase it reduce uh, the opacity of this uh, picture so this is what i did i you can leave it at something between five and eight depending on how colorful the background picture is now the next thing let's bring in the next test or icon let's say i'm using this picture for my design so with that one you i'm very sure you can bring in icons this is a png format image so you can bring it in and set it where you want it to be now we are putting our test by the left hand side and the bottom so let's go let me pick out the first test this one it is ordinary test but i used this font for it fonseca bold here is the font i'm talking about fonseca bold so that's the font i used for it now this one doesn't need much thing so i did not add any effect to this but when i get to some tests i added some effects to make it look special and more meaningful so that it will not look like a design made on smartphone it can compete with our uh, designs that are made on laptops using photoshop or that design so the next test is this now looking at this test you can see that i added an effect the first thing is to add a stroke now if you look at the stroke color i used white the stroke color is white the stroke color is white i used white so when you select stroke make sure you increase it the stroke width up to something between seven nine or ten around that depending on how big the test is that is not all you have to go to emboss if i off this emboss you see the way it is or adding emboss to it make it look somehow silvery in color make it it makes it shine somehow making it having a beautiful face so if you off it now you see it is somehow flat but if you add emboss it makes it look more meaningful so that's another tip so when you are adding text to your flyer you can combine stroke and uh emboss to make it look special now let's go to the next one now the next test per month so this per month is also a simple test i did not add any effect just like like the first one make up to so per month is also the same but the color is different the reason why i'm selecting blue red and black is because if you look at the icon i'm using the man jumping up with two hands up he is wearing a red shirt and blue jeans with a black shoe so i pick the color from his clothes directly for the test so as to make it go together when you are making a flyer design make sure the icon you are using or the image you are using goes together with the test so the background can be any other color that will bring out the color that you are using on your flyer design now let's move on i use an icon here just to like pointer i use this shape to to make it uh, you can see what i did to that is just to add uh, an effect that is giving it uh let me quickly select it and see what i did 
so that's just a simple trick so looking at that you see that i enabled uh this shadow effect this shadow effect i select off offset x as one so that's why you can see the shape at the left hand side and the upper part so let's go to the next one the shapes the abstract shapes are used here let me quickly show you now the two shapes are simple rectangles these two shapes they are rectangles but if you look at it it will not look as if it is a rectangle this is what i did just select it when you create your shape you go to perspective so this perspective i you see you can make any shape based on what you have so if i do it like this now you see it has changed so any how you want it to be that's how i re reduce this side to make it bigger at one pattern uh smaller at one part if you look the second one is just like a replica of this red so that's why i used that so if you combine the two you can bring on your tests on it and then it will give you something special a meaningful design now let's go so the test on it is by honing a by honing a now this one is two i use one as a shadow and i use one as the main test now if you look at it can you see that black i use it as a shadow and i put this one on it so that's why i have an effect on it but this main one if you look at it it is something i've added a stroke white stroke but the one at the at the uh, at the back of it which is also the same test that one is just black to appear to make it appear like a shadow but this one i gave it a white stroke that's another test effect you can add to your design so if you look at it now it gives it a special feel instead of looking flat it has something you see it depends on how you want it you can just adjust using your arrows up down left and right so that's how you can get another type of effective design using these simple simple tricks so let's go to the uh, next test this one is 20k to 30k uh -huh. now this is it let me release it this is it and the second one also okay vtu website is the missing test there if i will explain the 20 to 30k explain this one so if you look at this video website i've added an abstract shape so i don't need to give it any uh effect so i write it on that red uh shape abstract shape that i formed and the color given to that abstract shape it is something uh simple that you can quickly do i used let me select it so that it will not look somehow add so the color is just a gradient I used gradient for it so if you go here now to colors color so gradient you can change it you can add another one so that's just the color I used to form the color for those abstract shapes now looking at this now you can see make up to 200k per month by owning a bit website today so the next test is today today also is a simple test I did not add any effect to it I did not add any effects to it so that one can still stand like that so that today also you need to adjust and balance it well so that's what i did to that can you see within few minutes you have learned something great so let's release the rest and i will explain also how i did them so here first low first low so if you look at that you see I gave it a background because I don't want to add stroke and gray uh, and emboss. I don't want to emboss it also so that it will not look somehow. It is a small test. Bigger tests can be given emboss and stroke to make it appear very beautiful. So, but this for us, I just gave it a background. Background, you can use gradient color for it. Can you see? You can use gradient color for it just to form. Make sure it is aligning together. You can use this shape here to give your this one that icon here you can use that to give your shape alignment uh, your design and alignment so it will make it straight and appear on each other it will align very well so let me activate and adjust you click here so you can adjust the uh, the lines i put one here 
for the starting and the second one i put it here for the ending of our design so you can put it here like this just to align it so using this is just like a guide to make sure your if you look at the design it doesn't pass the boundary in which i gave them if you look at it very well it doesn't pass the boundary of my uh the alignment line the lines the grid lines i formed the design doesn't pass that part so the rest is just a repetition of what we have said but i will quickly bring them in to make sure you have an idea of the remaining part so forming the rest is just using rectangular shape so let me release everything at the time these lines and the tests these ones are just designs a shining sparkling shine golden sparkle just to So let me select that one and let you see the, the, sh the, the icon I used. So it's just a gold sparkle. If I, if I, if I show, how can you see? This is the stuff, the stuff I used. It's just to add some more effects to it. These are the ones I added to it. Uh, it's, it shows here, it shows here, here, sorry. It shows here as well. It shows here. It shows here. All these ones. It's just that, uh, that shining gold sparkle. So now, the last part. I will show you how I did this. You will see that one color is deeper than the other for the rectangular line that I drew across it. Let's go here. This is it. So if you want to get that kind of color, you can use you use gradient. So if you click here now, you can see you draw this to the middle and the second one also to the middle. So if you look at it here, you see, then I added the remaining test. That's just simple way to, uh, to make your design look very good. Don't forget what I said. This one, I used a uh, stroke and emboss. Also for this one too, I used stroke and emboss. This one, I have strat shape and this one, they are, I use shadow, the black test for shadow and the white test for stroke then i make the main test to be blue so that's just a way to make your design look very very beautiful most especially the background if you add a plain background like white you can input another picture and remove uh i mean and you have to reduce the opacity to make it look very good